In this video, we're going to learn what L values and R values are in C. So if you read enough C code, at some point you'll come across compiler error messages that reference L values and R values. But what are L values and R values? If we understand what these terms mean, then we can better diagnose and fix the compiler errors that we come across. So L values are also known as locator values, and L values are objects that have an identifiable memory address. So something like a double variable would be an L value. Any expression that is not an L value is an R value, and R values are expressions that can't have values assigned to them. Even if the R values are temporarily stored in memory at some location as part of the program's execution. So something like a double literal value would be an R value. It's technically stored in memory at some point, but we can't assign to a literal value. So let's go over an example. Here we'll say int x is equal to 20. And x here would be the L value. It has an identifiable memory address, and we can assign to x. 20 would be an R value. It is technically going to be stored in memory during our program's execution, but it doesn't have an identifiable memory address. We can't assign to 20. And if we tried to, we would get an error. If we tried to say 20 is equal to x here, and we try to execute this, we get this error message here. Error, L value required as left operand of assignment. So in early C programming, the origins of the terms L value and R value had to do with the fact that an L value was required on the left side of an assignment, whereas an R value would be found on the right side of an assignment. That's not true in modern versions of C. Say for example with the keyword const. So if we said const y is equal to 20, and then we try to assign to y 10, this won't work. So this isn't going to work because y is a const variable. We can't modify y. So in modern C programming, there's this idea of modifiable L values where we can assign things to them. In the case of y, we can't. There's all kinds of situations that can generate L value and R value related errors. So for example, if we tried to assign to the memory address of x, that's not going to work. We might think this is okay because we have a variable on the left-hand side, but this AND operator is going to return the memory address of that variable. And we can't just assign 5 to the value which is the memory address of x. If we try to execute this, we get the L value error again. There's all kinds of situations that can cause this kind of problem. We'll try this. Int a is equal to 20. And then we're going to check to see if a is an even number. And we'll use an if statement to do that. We'll say if a modulus 2 is equal to 0, printf a is even backslash n. And this should work, right? We'll delete this code here. I'll run this. And we get error L value required as left operand of assignment. Now, if you're a new C programmer, that's really hard to understand where you've gone wrong. If you're an experienced C programmer, you've probably already seen that I forgot an equals here. Because we mean to do a comparison and not an assignment. That's the real problem here. But the error message here telling us about an L value is really difficult to interpret if we don't know what an L value is. Now, different compilers will give you different error messages for making the same mistake sometimes. So for example, if we load up Xcode here and I say int x is equal to 20, and then I try to assign x to 20, Xcode will give us this error here. Expression is not assignable, as opposed to the L value error we got before. So the actual error you get and how readable it is may depend on the exact compiler you're using. Let's go over an example of a situation where we'll get an R value error. So here we'll say int star pointer one is equal to, and we'll define a variable x equal to 20. And we'll try to assign to pointer one and x plus four. This is a mistake here because x, when it's added with four, is gonna to evaluate to 20, and we're gonna get 24 here. Had we just said and x, this would be okay. We get build succeeded, there's no problem. 
But as soon as we say plus four, we're treating X like a value here in an expression where it's being added together with four. We get 24 and we try to get the memory address of that. That's not gonna work. If we try this, we can't get the memory address of the value 24. And we get this error message here saying, cannot take the address of an R value of type in. So sometimes we'll also see R value referenced in compiler errors as well. Like for example here. One situation that might surprise us is that we actually can use the AND operator to get the memory address of a string literal. So for example, let's say here void star new pointer is equal to and then AND and the string ABC. So we save and compile here and we get build succeeded. So in the case of string literals, we can get the memory address of them, but not other literals. The difference is that string literals are effectively stored as arrays in memory. There's no other way to store them. So we can get the memory address of that array. So this has been the basics of L values and R values in C. Hopefully knowing more about them will help you to debug programs in the future. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.